be assured that uh, we will do our part by our leadership of our pastor and our co-pastor. They will definitely uh, allow AIM and other members to do what we can to help support. Uh, at this point in the service, we have a special tribute. This is Martin Luther King's uh, holiday weekend. This is the only black man that has a holiday in the United States. That's something not to take lightly. That's right. And we know how hard we fought to get it. Yes, you know what I mean? They did not want to give in. I, I, I remember. I remember how hard. So we have a special tribute uh, from Brother Norris Smith from Kissimmee Baptist Church. He's going to come up and do a tribute to uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This day will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in America. Some four score years ago, a great American, Abraham Lincoln, signed the Emancipation Proclamation, giving the Negro a sense of freedom. But 100 years later, the Negro is still not free. America has given the Negro a bad check, a check which has come back in efficient funds. Well, we refuse to believe that the funds of justice is bankrupt. We have come here today to cast a check. A check will give us a demand of riches of freedom and the security of justice. They ask the civil rights devotees, are we satisfied? We can never be satisfied long as the Negro in the North have no right to vote and the Negro in the South have no one to vote for. Go back to South Carolina. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Tennessee knowing that we will be free. I say to you today, my friends, that in spite of the difficulties we face today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted into the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of his creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down at a table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be turned into a situation of oasis and freedom. I have a dream that one day my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of the character. I have a dream this afternoon and one day in Alabama, where his governor lips are presently dripping with the words of interposition and notification, right down in Alabama, little black boys and black girls would be the join hands of little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh is here together. This is our hope. This is the faith I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountains of the spare of stone and hope. With this faith, we will be able to work together, pray together, struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be the same but new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty of thee, I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, and of America is going to be a great nation. This must become true. So let freedom reign from the Pope Dizio hilltop to New Hampshire. Let freedom reign from the Heightly Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom reign from Stone Mountain of Georgia. 
Let freedom reign from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom reign from every hill and mountain of Mississippi. But not only that, let freedom reign from every hamlet and every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day with all of God's children, black men, white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will join hands in the same with the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. <laughs> Thank you for the awesome tribute. At this point in service, we can all participate. It's time for offering. 